Now let's change the background. Let's say you don't like the current background of this uh, website right now and you want to change that. You're going to go down here and click background. You want to double click that. Otherwise you can right click and go to change background. So let's do that. Right now it has an image and it's a GIF image, a GIF image. This background image is a picture. If you would want a blank background, all you got to do is delete that and then you can select the color. Right now it's going to be white. Let's just leave it white and I'll click OK. So there you have it. We've changed the background picture. We kept this header, which is with the template and all the information here, but we've created a blank background. If you want to change the color, just go to change background. Let's change the color to um, bright blue just for fun. There we go. So that's how you change your background color. Let's switch back to white. Okay. <clears throat> now you want to change the dimensions of your page. You can do two things. You can click on page properties, follow these tabs along the top, and click on layout. Here you can tell the website if you want your page centered on the web browser when it opens up or if you want your website slid all the way to the left. If you want it centered you just click the centered box. This is what I prefer to do with center. Uh, some people like to have the website off to the left. I prefer the center. Now to change the dimensions you can change the width right here by pushing these arrows or just typing in a number and your height. One thing about your height is it's okay that it's 3,000 because if your content only goes down to 1,000, it's going to stop the website at 1,000. So don't worry so much about the height. Just set your width. So I'm going to change this to 800. The average size for uh, people's resolution on their website or uh, screen is 800 by 600. You can go bigger than that, but sometimes if you make your website w bigger than that, there's going to be those scroll bars like you see right here. Um, on that person's website and you really don't want that but it's it's not the end of the world if you want to have a bigger page so let's do that and click OK now our website's going to be centered and it's going to be um, 800 wide so now we have a little bit wider now if you want to ha wor have a bigger working area you can always click these arrows and this will collapse these panels now I can see my whole page and what it's going to look like Let's just open that back up. So there you go. That That's how you can change your background. You can create your own images uh, to put them as a background. You can select from their images. There's a lot of different things you can do.